I'm not Chris Chan. I'm sorry I had to do that intro, man. I'm so sorry. It just looked cool as hell, so I thought might as well. You guys have been asking me for a long time on my old pants video, the last one I did on the H&M pants, if I can give an update on them. Honestly, I just kind of bought them in a size that it was just a little bit too big, so I'm not really too hyped on skating in those, even though they still look sick. But um, I definitely feel way different about these pants, though. Today is May 24th. My name is Matthias Y. I'm going to be talking about the Bershka skate jeans. I'm pretty sure that's how you say Bershka. You might have seen these pants basically anywhere on the internet. They've been everywhere on TikTok. So many people have bought them. A lot of people who don't even skate as well or have anything to do with skateboarding for that matter. They've gone viral and I, I, I kind of understand why. I mean, it's... It's a good pant. It's at a really affordable price, I must say. There are, however, some factors that make me not feel as good about skating the pants as I probably would had the company been a non-corporate one and within the core skateboarding industry. So you could kind of say that it goes against my values. Uh, you guys know what type of shoes I skate and what my values are within skating. So the whole corporate situation, yeah, I kind of just explained it right there. But then on the other hand, I'm not trying to pay 130 euros for a pair of pants when I could just go to Bashka and pick these up for 40 euros. It's unbelievable how cheap they are. Like literally polar pants are almost $100 more than these pants. Sorry, 100 euros more. That's like even worse almost. It's kind of like, a double-edged sword, you know? You wanna support the sick, cool brand, but you don't wanna break the bank. At least that's how I feel about it. Let me know how you guys feel about all of that in the comments below. Don't mind this little book here. There's nothing PG. I just have some notes in here that I'm gonna be using to talk about the pants. A couple pointers, you know what I'm saying? In terms of the fit itself of these pants, the fit was perfect. I've tried these on. And like the length was perfect, sat just exactly over the shoes like a pant should. No cuff needed, no belt needed actually. I bought these in a size EU 36, and that I guess is a US 29. I'm not really too sure about the sizing that Bashka uses. Oh yeah, I can also see that these pants were made in Bangladesh, yeah. Probably not too good. What I'm trying to say here is the dimension of these pants is just freaking perfect. Bashka have just gotten it right. I understand why that why there's such a big hype around these pants. In my opinion, they have the perfect amount of sag. It's not too baggy, but they're not too skinny either. They just feel good, you know? They just, they don't feel overly baggy like I said before. I bought these pants like a couple of months ago when I was in Budapest and pretty much right after I, I bought the pants, I, those were the only pants I wore for the rest of the trip. They were just so comfortable and I felt like I just looked so sick when I was skating them. So you've probably seen them in my past couple videos. But yeah, so I've been skating for a couple months and obviously I've gotten a little hole down here by the shoe. Uh, it's probably just gonna end up getting bigger and bigger. That's what to be expected from a, from a pair of pants though when you skate them. Like there's no way around it. I guess you could get away with it if you glue the seams down here or something like that. But I don't think that's gonna last forever either. So this always happens to me. So yeah, I don't really see a way around it. Let's talk about one big personal disclaimer that I have with these pants or personal dislike, I guess you could say. I really dislike the way the pockets sit on these pants. They like go down a lot and not very like over to the side, kind of like Polar makes their pants and shorts. So that's quite annoying because it just makes it easier for your shit to fall out of the pockets. Plus it just doesn't look very aesthetically pleasing in my opinion. If I were to make some changes to this pant, I would definitely change up the pockets and make them look different. The pockets themselves are not too bad. Like they're, they're deep enough. So it's not like your things are gonna fall out too easily of the pockets. That's all right. But yeah, back pockets are chilling. As you can see, I got these in like a washed acid wash, I guess. I don't know, I thought it looked sick, but Sorry, let me just finish this banana right here and then I'll give you guys a conclusion. In conclusion, the thing that I have 
taken from this video is simply just the fact that skate pants just need to be cheaper. Lower the prices. Obviously, it's possible for a big corporation like Bashka to make cheaper jeans because they are the corporate size that they are. But come on now, like 130 euros for a pair of pants that are going to last the same amount of time as a 40 euro pair of pants. It's just not doing it for me. And obviously, I don't want to keep supporting like the big ass corporations. I know it's not everybody who gives a shit about that. But I do. I like to think that there are more people out there who, who give a shit. I would just love to see like an actual skate company make like pants that are cheaper, you know. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video here. And um, let me know what you think of these pants. If you tried them before, if you would try them. Um, but yeah, see you guys in the next one. Fuck it. I think I'll be doing this today. <laughs>